Hi, I'm Liz Robertson. I'm the pastoral care worker at Greenford Baptist Church. And as I've mentioned previously, this time of year would normally be when I would be planning a retreat day. A group of us go away for a whole day uh, spent listening to God and reading his word. And I thought what I would try and do today is recreate some of the things that we do whilst we're on retreat. So this will be a bit different. So uh, what you might want to do is pause the recording at different points, uh, maybe after I've read a piece of scripture. There will be three pieces of scripture all together that I'm going to read. And you might want to pause after each reading so you can find it yourself and read it uh, several times, which is one of the things that I encourage people to do whilst we're away on retreat. This is a, um, a way of meditating on God's word. And sometimes what can happen is you'll be struck by a particular phrase or a, even not even a verse, maybe a couple of um, words that might resonate with you. And you might want to spend some time pondering, mulling them over and listening to God and talking to God about what it is that resonates for you in that piece of scripture. So you might want to do that as the recording goes on. You might want to pause it and reread the piece of scripture for yourself. Um, so to start with, hopefully this is going to be something that can be a useful tool for you going forward. We are in quite stressful times, I would suggest. And whereas some of us have got more time on our hands, uh, quite a lot of us are finding um, the nature of life very, very different, uh, much more busy, uh, frantic even, uh, particularly with childcare, um, maybe other things that um, now are our responsibility and time is very precious and in short supply. This might be something that helps bring some peace, some calm, and some breathing space to connect with God. So let's begin. Relax where you are, whether you're sitting on a chair, on the floor, maybe lying on a bed. Find somewhere where you can feel comfortable and able to relax. Perhaps allow your eyes to gently close and become aware of your body, how it's feeling. Are there any areas of your body that are holding on to stress or anxious feelings? Become aware of your breathing. Don't try and control it. Just be aware of the rise and fall as you breathe. As you exhale, exhale the stress and the anxious thoughts. And as you inhale, Inhale the Holy Spirit. Become increasingly aware of God's presence where you are. In your imagination, picture the Lord at your side. He says, are you weary, carrying a heavy burden? Then come to me. I will refresh your life, for I am your oasis. Simply join your life with mine. 
learn my ways and you'll discover that I'm gentle, humble, easy to please. You will find refreshment and rest in me. For all that I require of you will be pleasant and easy to bear. That's Matthew 11 verses 28 to 30. I was reading from the Passion Translation. Psalm 32, starting at verse 8. I hear the Lord saying, I will come close to you. Instructing and guiding you along the pathway of your life. I will advise you along the way and lead you forth with my eyes as your guide. So don't make it difficult. Don't be stubborn. When I take you where you've not been before. Don't make me tug you and pull you along. Just come with me. So my conclusion is this. Many are the sorrows and frustrations of those who don't come clean with God. But when you trust in the Lord for forgiveness, his wraparound love will surround you. So celebrate the goodness of God. He shows this kindness to everyone who is his. Go ahead. Shout for joy, all you upright ones who want to please him. Pause in his presence. I am standing in absolute stillness, silent before the one I love, waiting as long as it takes for him to rescue me. Only God is my saviour and he will not fail me, for he alone is my safe place. His wraparound presence always protects me as my champion defender. There is no risk of failure with God. So why would I let worry paralyze me? Even when troubles multiply around me, God's glory is all around me. His wraparound presence is all I need for the Lord is my savior, my hero and my life-giving strength. Join me, everyone. Trust only in God every moment. Tell him all your troubles and pour out your heart longing to him. Believe me when I tell you, he will help you. Pause in his presence. That was Psalm 62, verses 5 to 8. It's good to pause in his presence. I love the way in Psalm 62, we're encouraged to tell him all our troubles and pour out our heart longings to him. Another exercise that we have done on retreat is allocate yourself 10 minutes. 10 minutes um, for, for telling God 
all your heart worries and your troubles and your longings. And then when that 10 minutes is over, allocate yourself another 10 minutes. If that's too long, make it five minutes for each. But the second 10 minutes or the second period of time is for sitting and listening for his response. Maybe sitting in silence, maybe listening to some worship, but give the same amount of time for the downloading of your hopes, dreams, fears, anxieties, and then the same amount of time to listen to the response from the Lord. I hope some of those suggestions will help you in the days coming. God bless you.